Hey guys and welcome to a video showing you how to install the Ark Survival Revolt uh, server. So it's like a dedicated server. So one of the first things that you're going to need to do is buy a copy of Ark. You can't do this without a copy of Ark. So after you've done that, what you need to go and do is go to this website, Steam CMD, you can just Google it at the top there. What you need to do is scroll down to here where it says for Windows, if you're Linux you can do it for, I don't know about Linux, I'm just doing this for Windows. You want to download the Steam CMD. So with this CMD, what you need to do is make a folder for your Steam CMD. So I'm just going to make this on my, my desktop here just to show you how it's done. And then what also you need to do is, you need to create a folder for your, for your ARC uh, server folder. So what you need to do is call it ARC server. I mean you can call it whatever you like, but oh, actually I don't know. Well, just call it ARC server because it's easier. So now that you've made that folder, so I'm going to put that in my D drive. You can do this in any drive you got. It's just simple as. So let's boot up the CMD. It's going to install some updates. So now it says Steam API. Okay, what you need to do now is log in to your to your like uh, Steam login. So what you need to do is type in login and then your username and then password like that if I could type properly so let me just quickly log in to my one so now you logged in it's gonna ask you for your steam guard code and because obviously it's a whole another platform for you to log into your steam art code you, you know you need to just go to your email address where they send it to. There's your Steam code, waiting for licensing info. Okay, so from this point, what you need to do now is you need to type in force underscore install underscore dir space and then wherever you saved your arc server to so mine is I don't know about it's case sensitive, but let's just do that. And then what you need to do is type in app underscore update three four six one one zero validate. So if your force install doesn't work, you keep getting errors, then you're typing it in wrong. A good way to figure out is if you're on Windows 7, which I am, which most people aren't anymore, you click at the top here and then it should just show it here and then you just type in the Arc server. So there you go. And now it's just going to install it. So whilst that's installing, I'm just going to show you about another file you're going to need to make to run the server, which is actually a bat file. So, what batch? So, I'm just going to quickly throw this one in here. So, this is quite long. You get, there's different types that you can get, different batch files, but this is the one that it worked for me and it's coming up on the servers inside, you know, the game. Because a, a lot of people get in it where it's coming up in the land. So, if you click on your Steam, okay. click on your Steam. And then up the top left you can go to view servers and then if you click on LAN your server could show up there. So what you need to do is just type in where the file location for your new project is. So whilst that's just installing, taking its time. I'll go over this again. I'm going to paste this down the bottom. You just need to find this file inside your, um, your Arc server folder. And then the map stays the same, your port, and then you've got your session name, which is your, how could we say, it? like, you know when you search for something, it comes up with official arc server or something. So mine's my website. You can do it as anything you want. How many players you want, 
your password and then your admin password which is over there and then this stuff on the end this is only different but it seemed to have made my game well not my game it, it, it seemed to work with this on the end and then exit so I'm going to place this down the bottom you need to edit it to your own accord so I'm going to be right back as soon as the download is finished okay guys so that's finished installing now so you can close down this file now inside your arc server folder so let me just minimize that a second that car's still here um, you need to go to engine binaries third no it's not shooter game binaries win 7 okay so this is where your game is now so that file I said about earlier this one what you need to do now is copy copy that and then and then new text document okay so I'm gonna paste that into here which is all be edited to you know get, get it sorted especially with the arc server so now this is where you see this new project thing here I'm going to quickly show you where that's located so you see it's here this this um, shooter game you project so it's the arc server shooter game and then shooter game you project and then the next one is just the map and then the port and everything from there on so now that's sorted let's go back to back to this one file save as so you want to save this inside the um, the directory here so I call this start server dot bat so now it's going to make a bat file here which in turn will then start your server All right, access so you also got to let this go through your file, which as you just saw, I've just done there, but you can also go to your, like, your actual file itself and then do it that way. But you need to make sure you port forward this game. And with the port forwarding, if I could find it, here you go. So you need to make two port forwards, which I'm not used to. You need to have a protocol, any of them, and then the first port forward is the 270 one five and then the second port forward is uh, quadruple seven on protocol any which I've called it arc two and then arc if you guys don't know how to port forward on your router you just need to google, google it so now I'm going to quickly boot up the arc and then we can see whether this is working or not just it up. okay guys now the server here we go, let's just tr find our server, so we call it mythicalgamers.com and there we go, there's our server just dump in, uh, jump in I mean, I'll dump in just to show you that it's working but this also shows you can play the server as well as hosting the server at the same time which is something that's pretty good pretty good so if you if, if you've got a laptop you can log into your account on the laptop and then host it from your laptop we need at least about four four gig uh four yeah about four gigs of ram to run this server it, that's how much it takes itself um to run so you need kind of like a decent or you're just gonna get a lagging game as soon as it loads because I'm running 8 gigs on my server and it's taken up quite a hefty chunk of it, more than half and there you go, we're in game with a dinosaur and oh, I'm still alive, ok, wonderful I was just hunting things <laughs> but yeah guys, so it shows it works, we're on a server um, no one's online because it's just me at the moment but uh, yeah guys there you go. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.